Stealing the stash of Pokeballs from Professor Oak's lab was a brilliant idea. Thank you. I can't wait to give all those Pokeballs to the boss. Giovanni will love us so much. We'll have a delicious feast to begin. And get a big promotion at the end. Is that Professor Oak? Let me see those. Oh, that's an oak tree, not Professor Oak. The coast is clear. Let's go. Will you do speed it up? It's so heavy. Are you helping at all? Well, I would if I could see where I'm going. Close the lid. Well, I did close it. I didn't say drop it. There'd better not be any damage to our loot. Open it and check. I don't know why it won't open. It was just open. Can't you do anything right? Well, let me at it. <clears throat> I think it's locked. There's some sort of combination. That's just a bunch of number mumbo jumbo. What sort of newfangled lock is this? There must be a key to open it. What key? I don't know. Maybe it dropped. It's got to be around here somewhere. Let's spread out and start looking. But what if we can't find the little bitty key? <sighs> we have to find a way to open the lock any way we can. Now, fewer questions, more looking. I can't believe all the Pokeballs are gone from Professor Oak's lab. Why would somebody do this to Professor Oak? Pika. Well, whoever that somebody is, they can't be up to anything good. Come on, let's see if we can find the missing Pokeballs and help Professor Oak. Look, Professor Oak's chest. That's where he kept the Pokeballs. They should be in there. We have to check it out. Let's open it. But it's got a puzzle on it with numbers. Maybe if we solve the puzzle, the lock will open. Maybe, but how? All those numbers and symbols. What do they mean? Let's call Ada for some help. <laughs> Ash, May, what's up? We need your help. We've got to solve this number puzzle fast. It has plus and minus signs all over it, and we're not sure where to start. <laughs> no worries. If you have math problems like the ones in your puzzle, where there are plus signs and minus signs and division and multiplication signs and so on, there's a rule that tells you what to do first. Great. Maybe that will help us open the lock. Okay. What's the rule? It's called PEMDAS. These are the first letters of the steps you follow when you solve this kind of math problem. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M for multiplication. D for division. A for addition. And S for subtraction. Those are a lot of steps to remember. You're right. But some people remember PEMDAS by saying, "Please excuse my dear aunt Sally." Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I'll talk you through the first problem in your puzzle. First, do you see parentheses? Yeah, the six and four are inside parentheses. Exactly, six times four. You solve that part of the problem first. Six times four is twenty-four. Now. Do you see exponents in the problem? It's a number that is on the right of a number, but raised a little above it. Yeah, by the five, there's a two. Perfect. That's five squared. The two is an exponent, so you solve that part of the problem next. Five squared equals twenty-five. Now, do you see multiplication or division signs? Yeah, a division sign. Right. Twenty-five divided by five, and I see a multiplication sign. You got it. Five times two. But which one do we do first? If you have a multiplication sign or a division sign, you do them in order from left to right, like when you read. So, since twenty-five divided by five is the furthest to the left, you work that out first. Twenty-five divided by five equals five. Then you multiply. Five times two equals ten. And now, do you see addition or subtraction signs? There are addition and subtraction signs. So we go from left to right again. Yes, twenty-four minus ten is the furthest to the left side. So we work that out first. Twenty-four minus ten equals fourteen. And finally, fourteen plus ten equals twenty-four. Right. So twenty-four is your answer. All right.
If we follow the order of operations, P E M D A S, we'll be able to solve the puzzle and open the lock. Right. But keep in mind, if you don't follow PEMDAS, your answer could turn out wrong. Got it. We gotta do this quick since the thief might be nearby. Thanks, Ada. Anytime. Let's hurry and open the chest. Take a look at the puzzle. Highlight and click on the part of the math problem you should solve first. Yeah, four times two are in parentheses, so we work that part out first. And that leaves three squared. We'd work that out last. Let's do the second one. Yeah! Sixteen divided by four goes first, because it's a multiplication or division sign, and it's furthest to the left. Now highlight and click on the part of the problem to solve next. Yes! Multiplication, and that comes before addition and subtraction. We're getting there! Highlight and click on the part of the problem you should solve last. Yeah! We add 2 plus 3 last! One more problem to go! Let's try this one! Highlight and click on the part of the problem to solve first. Yes! We add 3 plus 4 first because they're in parentheses. Which part should you solve next? Highlight and click on the part you should work on now. Yes! 2 squared! Because exponents come after parentheses in the order of operations. Let's keep going! Highlight and click on the part to solve last in this math problem. Yes! 9 minus 6 is subtraction, and that's last! Yay! Awesome! We're ready to crack this puzzle and take back the stolen Pokeballs to Professor Oak. I've got an idea. You work out the three math problems, now that we know how to solve them. And we'll stay on the lookout for the thief. Then we can bring the Pokeballs back to the lab as soon as we open the chest. Here's the puzzle. Start with the first math problem. You might need scrap paper and a pencil to solve it. After you solve each problem, click on the key that matches your answer. All right! Click on the key that matches your answer. All right! Click on the key that matches your answer. All right. Awesome job. Yes. Let's take the Pokeballs back to Professor Oak, but leave the box here to fool the thief. That's it. I'm sick of searching. We'll get that lock open, even if it takes a blowtorch. Huh? I guess it just needed some of Meowth's magic claws. The Pokeballs, they're gone. Team Rocket, we should have known it was you. But, but, how did you get the lock open? It was foolproof. Let's just say we had a little help from P-E-M-D-A-S. Who's that? Not a twipe? Maybe this PEMDAS person has some Pokemon we can steal and add to our collection. Yes, nothing for us here. PEMDAS, you now have Team Rocket to fear! Try again. If you see numbers inside parentheses, you should start with those. Remember? P. Parentheses. In the order of operations, multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. Try again. Well, you're right that multiplication or division come next. But you have to work from left to right, remember? Try again. 
I don't think so. Because in the order of operations, multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. Try again. You already did division and multiplication. Do you see anything to add or subtract now? Try again. Think again. What do we look for first in the order of operations? Which part should you solve next? Highlight and click on the part you should work on now. Well, you already decided 3 plus 4 goes first because they're in parentheses. And then comes 2 squared because it's an exponent. So what's left? Oops, try again. Try again. Nope, check your math and try again. <laughs>